If your website's built on WordPress, you might be aware of their private post or password protective post features. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect access to a post with no other plugins, just using the core WordPress feature to add password protection. And then I'll go through a quick setup of Paid Memberships Pro and show you how you can accept a user's email address to set up a free user account and provide access to posts and get a little bit more information. So WordPress private posts or password protected posts have been built into WordPress since the dawn of time. And every post in your WordPress site, when you edit it, has a way to set a password. Um, and then you'd have to find a way to manually pass that password around. You could send it out to people via email or private DMs. And all people would do is take that password, enter it on the post on your site, and then it would become available for them to read. So it's a really lo-fi way to create members-only content. Paid Memberships Pro is a bit more robust. With Paid Memberships Pro plugin, you're going to get users' email addresses, user information when they sign up, and then they'll be able to gain access to members-only content. So it's two ways to go about the same thing. I think in time, if you were doing the password protection, you'd eventually realize you want more than that, but it is a cool lo-fi way to start. So I'll get started with the demo. This is the Must Love Dogs demo site, but I've removed Paid Memberships Pro, so that's the plugin we're usually used to seeing me using uh, to power things in this site. So I'm just going to navigate over to our blog, and I'll randomly pick a post that I want to add password protection to. So let's just pick this post here. It's already published on the site, but when we go into edit it in the WordPress area, there's a section here called visibility. And this is where you can say password protected. So you don't need anything other plugins. This is not a plugin, this is core WordPress. And then you set a password here. I'll just call it Pepperino. It's kind of a hard word to spell. But that lets you set the password for the post. But now when I update this post and go to view it, it'll say this content is protected. To view it, please enter the password below. So this is nothing special in the theme. This is all core WordPress. A user would come to this landing page on the site, they'd have to enter the password, and then they'd see the post become available to them. If they've navigated away or went away from the site, it does retain for a little bit in that session. And if I go back to my home blog screen, you'll see that post is still available in the loop here. This post was never password protected, and then if we navigate to this one, it's still available to me till I close my session. It does say it's protected there in the title, so that's pretty cool. We do get some people at Paid Memberships Pro thinking they need to use both of these settings, but that's not the case. Password protection is an opposite version of protecting posts than Paid Memberships Pro. So let's undo what we just did, and we'll go through a really basic setup of Paid Memberships Pro with a free membership level. I'll probably speed the video up because we have a lot of other setup tutorials, but give this a watch and then jump to the other videos we'll link to in the comments if you want to set up Paid Memberships Pro fully. I'm going to undo this password protection and just make the post public update and now when I go back to it you'll see it's publicly available. So let's go through a quick setup of Paid Memberships Pro. I'm just going to go to plugins, add new, and search for Paid Memberships Pro. Why can't I spell today? Cool. Install now and we'll activate and the plugin's going to take us through a quick setup wizard. Just tell us about the membership site. We'll say we're a blog and news site. Generate pages. I won't be collecting payments. We're going to do this just as a free membership level. We'll call it Dog lovers, uh, we're going to allow members to see excerpts and show posts. Um, this is just a couple settings we like to set. And that's it. The site's ready. So now we have Paymerships Pro installed. So you can navigate around and see what your settings you just set up were. But basically what we're going to do is go back to that same post. And now instead of using the password section here in the visibility, we're going to scroll down to a new section that Paid Memberships Pro adds called Require Membership dog lovers. I'm going to check this box and then we will view the post and you'll see that there's a lock icon that the excerpt of the post is visible and then you get hit with that paywall or that free registration um, link. So unlike the password protected, Paymerships Pro does have the option to show a teaser of the post content. Um, you can turn that off in advanced settings, but I like to keep it on. Just to confirm, the post still appears in the loop, so that's not really any different compared to the password protected posts version. And then if I was to join the site as the dog lovers level here, because I'm already logged in, I can just join. It shows me what level I am and I can go back in and now I can read the whole post. So it's a super fast setup of Paid Memberships Pro. I know a lot of people set it up as a more robust tool. They're adding things like courses and directories, custom user fields, paid levels integrated with all the payment gateways we have. But I did want to showcase uh, just this core feature of WordPress and how it compares to protecting content in Paid Memberships Pro. I'm going to put a link in the comments to a guide that we have about protecting 28 different types of WordPress content. 
that has everything from events, downloads, video, all kinds of things you can protect. Again, I'm glad I was able to show you what password protecting posts in WordPress core is. I'm Kim Coleman. I'm a co-founder at Paid Memberships Pro. If you like what I showed you today, check out the product. It's free on WordPress.org, and I hope you'll watch more of our tutorials. Thanks so much.